Hey everyone, Zephyr here and welcome back to The Sims 2. Today we are doing a renovation of 225 Main Street in Pleasantview, which is actually going to be the home to the Burb family. The Burb family consists of John and Jennifer Burb and their daughter Lucy. And I honestly think the Burb family is underappreciated by The Sims fandom. Like, they were in the older games too, they were both in the original Sims, uh, John was introduced in an expansion pack, but he was still in the original Sims. And Jennifer not only was in The Sims, she was also in The Sims for Console, and she was in uh, The Sims 3 along with John. Like, they are iconic, recognizable characters. And I just feel like they don't get the love they deserve. They also, like, make really cute kids, and I just really like playing them. What I like about the Burb family is their dynamic. Uh, Jennifer is the kind of like worker of the family and John is more of a family man, which I find interesting. Uh, John also, uh, in his bio, it states that he misses his father's garden and I just picture him as like, kind of like a wannabe farmer, like in the city, urban farming. I don't know. Pleasant View is not really a city, but like you get the vibe. It's not really farm country, right? But anyways, I decided I wanted to make a little greenhouse for John and I think that'll be really fun to uh, use this gameplay. I'm not saying this is a new concept. Other people have done it before, but I'm excited to have my little Farmer John moment. Anyway, we are starting with the inside. I didn't change a lot about the layout. I made the bathroom a little bit bigger because I just felt like it was needed. I don't like bathrooms that are too small. I mean, in The Sims 2, I guess. Like, it's just hard to have a small bathroom in The Sims 2. So I made it a little bit bigger. Um, and I ended up going with a color scheme that I go with a lot recently in bathrooms. I use this, like, tile, which I never used to use, but suddenly I think it's, like, the best tile in the game. I don't know. It's giving, like, mid-2000s bathroom vibes, and I love that. I always go back and forth about, like, what decade I imagine my Sims 2 gameplay is existing in. Like, it would naturally make sense for me to pretend that my game is in 2005, 2006, like that time period, because that's when the game came out. Well, it came out in 2004, I think, but you, you know what I mean. But then I go and I download The Sims 4 conversions and throw it into my game to make my game look more modern. And it's like, there's things in my game that's kind of like, that were definitely not in style back then. So it's like a mishmash of both. And I don't know, it's just, I it's a struggle. I, I guess it's The Sims, so it doesn't really matter. But sometimes it matters to me, depending on what I'm feeling like in the moment. So I really enjoyed what I was doing with this kitchen. I think it turned out cute, but there is one massive problem with it. Okay, maybe I'm being a little dramatic, but like it's something that's bugging me a lot. And the fact I have to sit here and rewatch the footage while I'm talking to you guys is just, it's bringing back uh, memories of me being mad. Uh, so basically I went through, through this whole build without noticing the mismatched tile. I only noticed it when I went to take screenshots of the build afterwards. And I don't know how I didn't notice. Like, to be fair, it is hiding behind the fridge and like a window. But like, it is so obvious to me right now. And I like spent a long time fiddling with the stuff on the counter. And I, like, I was staring at this kitchen for so long and I didn't realize I messed up the tile and I'm very disappointed in myself. To be fair, I've made bigger mistakes in builds. I've forgotten stoves, stoves. I've forgotten fridges. I forgotten bathrooms. But like, I hate it when I mess up something silly like this. To be fair, I've had a lot on my mind lately. I quit my job a couple days ago. Well, I, I didn't quit. I put in my notice, which I guess is kind of quitting, but like, I'm not officially gone yet. And this job was my first ever job. And I've had it for like 10 years. And I quit to go into another job in the same industry. And I'm in the same industry. I'm making it sound like it's a big deal. It's literally just fast food. But um, the work, my workplace was kind of getting kind of toxic. 
And honestly, like, it was way too long of a commute. But I am a very anxious person, and I'm overthinking the, uh, going to the other job thing, you know? Like, I don't know. It, it, I'm gonna be fine, but I just always think worst case scenario, and that is my life. But anyways, I decided I want to give John a dog. That is because he had a dog in The Sims Unleashed. Uh, that's the expansion pack that pets came with, with the original Sims. He had a golden retriever, and I think that once you're a dog person, you're always a dog person, and I feel like it'd be fun to give John maybe a golden retriever. So I think he'd want that for his kids, he'd want that for Lucy, so I'm gonna do that when I eventually play with this family. And golden retrievers are just great dogs in general. Our first ever dog that I had when I was alive was a golden retriever mix. Her name was Fluffy. She lived up until she was 14 and she was like pretty much a third parent to me. Uh, she was great. And now I have another purebred golden retriever. His name is Harley. He's actually like almost eight now. Um, he's getting up there in age, but he's great too. Uh, he's like the sweetest dog I ever met. Like he never heard a fly. Um, but yeah, golden retrievers are great dogs, and I need to play with pets more in The Sims, so I'll be adding a golden retriever to this family. You know what a benefit of playing The Sims 2 is? There's landlines. Like, I know landlines are going out of style and not a lot of people have them anymore, but my parents still have them, and like, I don't know, I feel like having a landline is convenient. I don't want them to go away. I think they add character to the house at this point. I don't know, like, it just, it, some people may call it a waste of space. I see it as an opportunity to decorate around your phone. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up at a time where, like, media was still showing landlines a lot, and they were part of stories, and I would watch the Brady Bunch, and it was a big deal. They had a landline one episode. Maybe it was a couple episodes. I don't know, and I know the Brady Bunch was an older show, but, like, I just, I love landlines existing. They, they should continue to exist. We shouldn't be tied to our phones, I say, as a TikToker who's constantly on her phone. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes the phone isn't reliable. Landlines, landlines are more reliable. <laughs> that, that's my tangent for the day. Anyway, I just want to sing the praises of Sims 4 conversions again. I just feel like they mesh so well with The Sims 2 and I need to download more. But anyway, we are moving on to the second floor. I didn't really change the layout here except at the end of the video. I do end up fixing the hallway a little bit because this house was made pre-seasons, obviously. It's base game. So they didn't take into account the, like, weather and roofing situation. So I didn't want my Sims to potentially freeze in the hallway. So I fixed it up and it was easy. But right now we are decorating Lucy Burb's room. And it's kind of like an odd shape. I'm not really super into the shape. But I kept it anyways. Also, she has, like, a balcony in her room. Which, like, I would never give a child. But, like, it's the Sims, whatever, maybe... John and Jennifer locked it. I don't know. Um, I feel like I would have definitely gave my Sims bel kids balconies when I was a kid because, like, I was fixated on balconies. I thought they were the most wonderful piece of architecture ever, and I thought if you had a balcony, you were pretty much rich, and I would, like, literally make my Sims go and stand out on the balcony and do nothing because I just... I was really weirdly engrossed in balconies, but um, I, I just feel like as an adult, I would not want a child unsupervised with access to a balcony, you know what I mean? But the room was definitely too small for a double bed, so I was not going to stick uh, John and Jennifer in there. You know what I could have done? I could have stuck John and Jennifer in there and gave them like a I Love Lucy situation with like two single beds. But, um, I'm not gonna do that to my Sims. Um, I definitely think that John and Jennifer are still kind of on good terms. Like, I don't know, I, I never have them break up or anything. Um, even though there is a little bit of tension when it comes to, like, 
Jennifer being more into work and not really into the idea of like expanding their family more. Um, I always make them work it out. Anyway, here we are just finishing Lucy Burb's room. Uh, it's not going to stay like this for long because she she turns into a teenager quite quickly when you actually play. But I think it's set up quite nicely right now. I normally have her get together with Alg Scoth, but I'm actually playing um, Pleasant Sims Perfect Pleasant View right now. So there's like other options for her to like explore potentially, or she might just end up with Alex. But uh, Cindy's Perfect Pleasant View has Blue Water Village attached. It also has um, the universities and such attached. And I'm thinking of maybe attaching Strange Town. I don't know. I, I'm still thinking about it. Like, I've never done, like, a mega hood like that. And I feel like it'd be fun. But I'm also overwhelmed. And I also want to renovate all the lots. And it's going to take me a while. But then again, I have this channel. And, like, I want content for this channel. So maybe renovating a lot of lots would be a lot of content for a long time. So I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I, I'm not sure what I want to do. But right now we are just making John and Jennifer's room. It's nothing super fancy, but it's cute. I use like very country-ish furniture. Um, well, for the end tables and the bed, I used the... Uh, I actually know where these came from. They, they came with the Bon Voyage and they are used in hotels. And I'm weird about using hotel furniture in houses, but like it's literally just furniture, so I need to get over it. So I'm trying to get over it by placing it in more of my Sims builds, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe I'm strange. But we are adding a desk because I feel like Jennifer would want a work area, being a workaholic that I think she is, that I interpret her to be. Um, even though she starts the game with, like, no job, uh, she has ambition. But yeah, here I am just adding the finishing touches to John and Jennifer's room. I actually go ahead and decorate the desk a little, which is something I'm always scared of doing in The Sims 2, just because, like, desks quickly become unusable. But since I'm using those, like, shiftable one more slots, I, I think I should be good. Um, if I play test it and it doesn't work, I can just delete things. It's fine. But anyway, here I am just pretty much replicating the bathroom from downstairs. So they have a pretty nice setup with two full bathrooms. And I love that for them. I don't like... It's not like I... It's not that I don't like half bathrooms. It's just I never do them in builds. I, I just always want the convenience of having two showers in The Sims, you know? But yeah, we're just finishing things up. Adding the very important to me ceiling because screenshots without the ceiling, like, annoy me. But we're going into some screenshots. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye, guys. Wait, I just realized I didn't fix the wall in the screenshots either. I'm such a professional. I must have just realized it when I was editing and not when I was actually in-game taking screenshots. That is sad. Oh my gosh.